Good morning, children. Welcome to Narayana Light Classes. Now we shall discuss key for revision assignment one, which is based on grammar concept, reported speech. So the question is, change the following sentences into indirect speech. We are given sentences in direct speech. We are told to transform these sentences to indirect speech. So let's do that. The first sentence is, the teacher said to the boys, have you done your homework? It's a question. So when we get an interrogatory sentence for transformation in terms of speech, we should first see whether the given question is S or no type of question or W H question. If it is S or no type of question, then in indirect speech we should make use of if or whether. If it is W H question, we make use of the same W H word. So now this question, have you done your homework is S or no type of question. So we use if or whether. Okay, then. The reporting verb is said and in interrogative sentence, in indirect speech, we make use of asked as the reporting verb. So, the sentence in indirect speech would be, the teacher asks the boys, I told you if it is F some type of question, we use if or whether we use if you are. Now, this is a question and the structure of a sentence in English is in, in if it is a question we have verb first then the subject. So when we change it into indirect speech this word order should be changed. So we should use subject first and then the verb. So here you, you here is the object of the reporting speech that is the voice which is plural. So I make use of the plural pronoun they. Okay, so we change this as the teacher asks the boys if they have done is changed into had done. Present perfect is changed into past perfect. Had done your homework is changed to their homework. So we change the pronoun, pronoun reference when we change the sentence from direct speech to indirect speech. So we change the sentence as the teacher asks the boys if they have done their homework. Okay, that is the first sentence. Now, the second one. The little girl asked the man, will you help me? It's again a son of type of question. Okay, so we change this as, the little girl asked the man if he would help her. We change the word order, we you, you here is the old man, so we use the pronoun he there. It is a solo type of question, so we used if and then will you order is changed. So you here is the old man, so we use the third person referee here, he will is changed to would because we change the tense of the reported verb. Help me here is the little girl, so we make use of her. Okay, the little girl asked the man if he would help her. Now, the third sentence. Janaki said, I have been reading this book. Okay? So now, this is assertive sentence. Okay? So then, in an assertive sentence, we replace this comma with the conjunction that. So we write this as, Janaki said that, I here is a Janaki, which is third person for us. We use she have been reading is changed as had been reading. Okay? Present perfect continuous is changed to past perfect continuous tense. This is changed to that. Okay? So these are the changes that we make when we change the sentence from direct speech to indirect speech. Janaki said that she had been reading that book. The next sentence. Mother said to her daughter, go and change your dress. Okay? We change that as mother told her order. Okay? We, if we take this as an imperative sentence and order, go and change your dress. It's an imperative sentence. So we make use of told or ordered as the reporting verb. So mother told or order her daughter to go and change her dress. We don't change verb as present to past or past to past perfect for imperative sentences. We make use of infinitive to with the base form of the verb. So go and change is changed as to go and change. Your dress is her dress. We change it to her because it is referring to the daughter. Okay, now the last sentence. 
Susie said, I had read this book before I gave it to you. Okay? So this again is an assertive sentence. We change that as Susie said that she had read that book before she gave it to me. So this was the key for today's assignment. Thank you children. Have a good day.